got new figures revealing that more than one in five pupils are regularly missing school, with the government and the Labour Party both vowing to tackle the issue. But is it the job of schools or parents to make sure that children are in the classroom every day? Joining us, former teacher and mum Danielle Facey, who says she wouldn't force her son to go to school every day if it wasn't right for him. And, and mum... mum and blogger Lucy Baker, who says that getting kids into lessons has to be the parents' top priority. But, Danielle, let, let's start with you. Surely, if your kid is peripatetically missing school, then they're going to be falling behind the curriculum <laughs> when they go back into the classroom those classmates who were at the previous few lessons will be ahead of them and, they, and they'll have no way of catching up. Yes, that's true, but I think it's really ignorant to suggest that the traditional classroom environment, being one of 30-plus in many cases, is best for every child. As a former teacher, I know there are many of the ch children that I've taught who did not thrive in a traditional classroom environment. And I think that we need to be recognising that and working with parents to address well, that Well, you, you accepted my opening point. Well, let, let, let's dig into that a bit more. Let's say, talk about a French class. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have a crucial two or three lessons um, teaching a, a developmental stage in grammar, learning the grammar. And then the child who's missed those lessons comes in. How mm -hmm. are they going to find out <clears throat> how to speak? I would argue that not every child who's in school should be learning French grammar. You know, I've taught children who could barely string together a, a grammatical sentence um, and I've been teaching them the plot twists of Twelfth Night <laughs> when actually my energies and efforts would have been much better directed in other ways but I was constrained by the curriculum. I think we need to make education more personalised and if there's £15 million spare to be invested in schools and teachers... But those kids are going in, aren't they? In They've got to be in the school teachers. to be taught and I think the conversation here is about the fact that kids aren't going to school and I think that's the problem. You know, it's all very well when they're in school and the curriculum is one thing but it's if kids aren't going to school, it's a huge problem and I think, from my perspective, I would, I've worked with my daughter's school. She, she had a few problems going into school sort of last year and I don't think it was fully my responsibility to get her back in. I had to really work with the school for that to happen. Mm. And mm. it's about working with the school and getting kids back into school, cos the, the figures are high. Yeah, Lucy, it, do you think a lot of this is a fallout from COVID? Because a lot of 100%. parents will be thinking, well... They didn't go to school during COVID. Yeah. So they don't need to be in school every day. There's mm. other ways. Well, if you were in my house during COVID and trying to homeschool, it was an absolute disaster. You know, my kids... In your three, house. I've got three That's children. That's not the case for no, every family. No, I understand it's that. it's not the case for all but children. But I don't think kids can learn well at home. They have to be socially... Some really can. Some learn better at home. But what about being home? with peers and, and okay their friends? to acknowledge that. Learning from teachers, learning how to deal with arguments with their friends, learning how children to... Children can learn in many other ways, you know? Yeah, but they there don't need to be with their parents all the time. That, no. you know, I think brownies I guess so they, I want my kids to be in school. I'm a working parent. I need my kids to be in school. And actually, I so see the benefit for, for them. you. Great. But what's best for individual children? I'm a working mum too, and it's way but more is it convenient your decision, for me. Is it your decision for my son to be to in say, school? Okay, my kids. Is it best go to for school? him though? Not always. Would you set a limit on it? I mean, kids go to school by and large five days a week. Mm. How many days would be the maximum you think they could skip? I don't mm. think you can put a limit on an individual circumstance. I think the word okay. skip as well. Skipping home school, I'm... and that's best for them. Great, you know, we should Danielle, be supporting that. Lucy, mm. thank you very much indeed. Thank you both. Um, we have to bring it to a close there, that debate.